Now at 11, Gwinnett County Police two officers and the county sued for $10 million. That's right. So this lawsuit was actually filed on Monday. It comes 18 months after officer used a taser three times on a Stone Mountain man during a jaywalking arrest. Do anything. All right, he's getting tased again. Let's not do anything. Pop. So officers approached the man twice for crossing the street outside a crosswalk. 11 Lives Hope Forward walks us through the lawsuit and where the body camera video picks up from there. Two officers drive up to John Eford walking across Holcomb Bridge Road in March of last year. Both get out of their vehicles, tasers in hand. Body camera audio starts 30 seconds into the video. No crosswalk right there. What did I do? Right what did I do? Eford continues to ask what he did before officers order him to the ground, saying they'll tase him. Officers used a taser on Eford three times before he was handcuffed. Dude, he has not told me anything, sir. You jaywalked again, right, right in front of us again, bro. Jackie Patterson, Eford's attorney, says his client is traumatized. The charges against Eford, jaywalking and two counts of misdemeanor obstruction were dropped in November. When the solicitor's office reviewed the video and saw that my client committed no crime, they dropped all charges. Patterson believes the force used to arrest Eford was unwarranted for something that could have been a ticket. My client was in a fetal position saying, please don't shoot me. Gwinnett County Police say one of the officers involved, Charles Bynum, later resigned from the department while under investigation for a separate incident. One month before this arrest, Bynum was arrested for false imprisonment, making terroristic threats and battery of his domestic partner. In the police report, officers wrote the victim had a recording of Bynum saying, they're on my team when the victim threatened to call police. Patterson said in relation to his client, he hopes the lawsuit serves the purpose of preventing future misdemeanor crimes from taking a turn. Simply because you wear a badge and a gun, that doesn't give you the right to use excessive force on anyone. So a spokesperson for the Gwinnett County Police Department confirmed the second officer involved in the arrest is still employed with the department. The department also says it cannot comment on active lawsuits.